Because of the growing stigma around HIV and AIDS, the children you see in this documentary may or may not be infected with the virus. The Raphael Centre is a daycare for young children from various schools around Grahamstown. These children are either infected or affected by the HIV AIDS virus. This 12 year old boy has full blown AIDS. Despite this, he lacks fundamental knowledge about the disease or his infection. Nola, his caregiver at the Raphael Center, has been seeing him on a regular basis for the past three years. You was born with the virus, and as far as I know, no one told him. The Raphael Center cannot tell him. Um, the caregivers can't tell him. We can give him the care and the love, but we can't tell him. It has to come from the father. And his mother died. So he actually had no say in the infection. I always encourage him to talk about his mother. To him, his mother's dead, and so what? So I think he's blocking out a lot. So I hope the shelter will give him stability, and he will understand that he's only going to get so much love and so much care, and no one will be able to replace what his mother gave him. And his, his mother was obviously uh, infected by his father, but the father's not taking responsibility for that. Unfortunately, um, the father made two other babies, all, all two, both infected. So there's three children in the house is infected. And he's got a dog's life because he's been posted from pillar to post and he is not doing well at school. He's got huge developmental problems. He's been taken off the ARVs because, which is sad because there's no parent or adult to supervise that. Uh, none of the biological grandmothers both are alive and both cannot do, take that responsibility on. He's been at school, he's been called names because of the virus. And he doesn't know the impact of the virus. My concern with, with that is the day when he's big or when he goes through his teenage years, Who's he going to blame and how's he going to accept that? Because he needs to go through that. And maybe it's time one looks at one's approach, how you give the, the, the education so that the message gets through. Um, I don't think the message is getting through the way we, we would want it to get through. And I don't think it has the results the way we really would want it to be. Although children like this boy come from homes where they have to live with AIDS, they have little knowledge of this disease. Owing to poverty and lack of resources, the children are unable to receive adequate education and care. Confronting the fact that one is infected with HIV is more difficult at a later stage, as the process of coming to terms with the infection during teenage years and adulthood is harder to deal with. In hope of avoiding the unawareness that Mark is faced with, this pre-primary school in Georgia, where all of the children are either infected or affected, are educated about the disease from a very young age. By increasing awareness of HIV and AIDS at a young age, these children are better equipped to deal with the process of accepting the virus and other problems that may arise.